Describe just what it meant to finally bring a trophy home after all those years. I think relief, first and foremost, as a team. We knew when we could go and win the tournament, but ultimately we had to stay grounded, we had to stay humble and really come together and fight each and every game. And there were some tough tests that we had, but ultimately we prevailed. What was it like? What was that squad atmosphere like? Because again, you did have to overcome hurdles. There was COVID amongst other things going on, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a lot of hurdles, you know, on and off the pitch. You know, we played Spain, we was down 1-0, and we had to come back and win the game 2-1. And Spain was a tough test, but throughout that whole game, I never thought for one minute that we was going to exit the tournament. The belief, the togetherness in the squad was one in which I've never experienced. Describe those feelings walking out of that tunnel at Wembley in the final. 90,000 people screaming. The atmosphere was buzzing in every game. I think the fans, the English crowd, can be proud of the tournament we produced this summer, both for the home team and the other nations. It was great to see so many people come out and enjoy the games, and long may that continue in the WSL. And you came on at the end of extra time. What, what, what was that like? How did it feel? And then when the final whistle went, did, did you know where you were? What you, were, you know, Did your mind just explode? Yeah, my mind did just explode. I remember just being around the centre circle and just putting my hands in the air, just thanking God that we finally got the job done. And, you know, it was a tough test against Germany and they sure as hell did play their part in the final. But ultimately, we came out the winners. Uh, I saw that smile as you said that. Um, let, let's talk about um, Serena Wiegmann. There's been so many complimentary things said about her. For you, is she the best manager in the world? Yeah, she's right up there. Um, as, a, as a coach, as a manager, she tells you exactly what is expected. There's no grey area and, you know, she really is a laugh. When there's, when there's moments to have a good time and a laugh, she is definitely one who brings a lot of laughter in the changing room and, yeah, she's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, so I, I've heard you talking about taking that into the WSL and, and all of that. How important is it to build on that success in terms of legacy, growing the sport? And, uh, Look behind you, young girls taking up the game. Is, is this what it's all about as well? Yeah, definitely. In the summer, one of our main points was to inspire the nation, and I think that's what we've done, and we want to continue to do that through you know, club football, the WSL, getting people through the turnstiles and coming out and showing support and atmosphere in the games, and it will really push the game forward. And as you can see, there's a lot of young players who are um, desperate to, to play and wanting to progress. What would you like in particular to see happen now? I'd like to see the game really push on and really be seen on a global scale and not just in England but worldwide in order to create that big competition and, you know, just ultimately go further.